I like to draw in a lot of different mediums. Um, one of my favorite mediums is charcoal, and um, I like to draw figures quite a bit, and I'm a huge fan of anatomy. And this particular drawing is my dad. This is an homage to my dad, and um, he's still alive out in western Colorado where I grew up. And I wanted to sort of convey the light coming across his skin, um, reflecting where I grew up, which is western Colorado. So that's where, that's my dad. And um, uh, one thing I've always loved doing is showing texture. And so my dad, because of his years, uh, shows a lot of texture. So that's what that is. Uh, was he an artist as well? He was a doctor. Physician. Wow. He's, he's very good at music. He's a violinist. But no, he couldn't draw. So an artist in a different sense. Anything, yeah. yeah. He could probably trace his hand. So because he's a physician, do you think that was like a gateway for you to have a passion for anatomy? Yes. Absolutely. And I didn't really quite realize that, but absolutely. When you look around the room, there's anatomy everywhere. And I taught figure drawing for roughly 30 years. And um, we would always take time to draw the skeleton. And I would always take my students over to the biology department to do a little comparative anatomy. And it's all scientific observation. So yes, there's that. And another thing I've realized, like when I draw, I put um, like who I'm drawing on a music stand, and that's also a reference to my dad playing music. So it's kind of interesting how that relates, you know? What, what mediums do you like? What's your favorite medium? That, that's a good question. Um, and the medium is, um, I'll tell you what, I started with a pencil, just a good old pencil, got very facile at that. Pencil for me is second nature. But as I developed, I realized there's other mediums. And so I branched out into the basic ones, which is ink, charcoal, there's a little bit of um, white chalk, but those are the basic things, a um, little bit of paint. And then, because of a colleague of mine who was in graphic design, and they're much more um, connected to the computer, I started drawing on my iPad. And so in this room, there's charcoal, ink, pencil, and iPad drawing which is a new technology. And I found that a wonderful, wonderful thing because it pulls out a whole other side of me in terms of what the images look like. It's a very digital type looking thing and I don't want them to look like my more traditional charcoal work. Um, but one thing about uh, this show is I wanted to highlight the various media that have been good for me. Um, in terms of what I'm probably known for the most are these big, huge, monumental charcoal works. There's not a lot of people that do that. Mm -hmm. But I like to, every single drawing I look at as a test and something I can learn from and no drawing is easy. Every drawing is a challenge and you deal with what that drawing requires you to do. And whether some of these drawings, like this one, it required me to spend well over 100 hours to get it to this level. Other drawings, not as much, like my iPad drawings go very fast, but I've always made myself respect what the work requires me to do in terms of time. And that's what I always told my students, that uh, the quality of the piece dictates how long you spend on it. So you gotta be kind of tough on yourself to put that amount of time to get a, a quality piece.